so this would be the point. So so remember that there's a worldwide sort of to spread res. There's a worldwide notification system or kill system. Because that's what it really is. I learned a new term. I think I explained it yesterday at the neighborhood watch. The meaning of block captain. Okay, block captain. So example. I'm just gonna explain it again. Um, so this guy over here, let's say, wants to. He wants a peaceful peaceful area so he goes to the neighborhood watch meetings he says I want to be a block captain and you know what those Jews are dirty people and it's causing chaos and havoc in my neighborhood that's not this is not the way it's supposed to happen so you know he's a public nuisance and he's everyone provoke him and try to get reactions he's a public nuisance we want a peaceful neighborhood and um, the target, like me, going, I don't understand what's going on. Not, you're imagining it. Okay, nothing's going on, dude. You suffer from, are you, are you taking crack? Are you, okay, so I'm gonna note the, the truck back there backwards. Okay, are you taking crack? Are you on crack? Are you, okay, right? Well, you know, you suffer from mental illness and you need to, you know, and then it the attacks get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and, and larger and larger worldwide in my case, which actually starts at five years old. But, but let's just say 26 years ago I moved here. So, you know, we're, or we're why we gotta take over at this location. Um, um, now they're working with the police, right? They're buddy going there, their monthly meetings, they got the lead officer's phone number. Uh, the lead officers like well whether what well, you can debate whether the lead officer knows what's going on or not. However, <laughs> in my case they do. So so they're police operations. Okay, so um Okay, if you understand I'm going that they're police they're police operations exterminate, right? So make them look crazy, okay? Everyone come out, purple shirts, everyone do this, everyone do that, okay, right? You're too sensitive. Okay, now the block captain's job is to network with all the block members, okay? Like everyone on the block, okay? So, so first of all, why Let's look at the personality of a block captain. And it's funny because she said he used to be a block captain and the guy had like, looked like he lived out of his car with like a 1970s uh, vest on, something out like, you know, like Michael J. Fox in the movie. Is that a life preserver? Okay, right? Like, um, uh, like 80s, you know, ski jacket vests thing. Um, with feathers in it. Okay, so like, and like, well, yeah, you look like, okay, so, so why isn't the block captain some billionaire that isn't getting anything out of it? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm not getting anything out of it. I just want a peaceful community. Verse, I live in a fucking, I live in my truck and... Uh, I want a clean neighborhood, by the way. If we can lock that guy away, I can get his house and cars. Okay, right? Like, you know, something to gain out of it, right? Because, first of all, everyone basically does things because they want personal gain, right? They want... Okay, I, I don't... On some level. But something where you're fucking with other people's lives usually is about money or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay... But the point I'm making here is the personality is the personality of a fucking bully because in order to have a peaceful community, you can't rile up the masses against people. Okay, that's the point. That everyone goes about living their own lives. You don't build armies, okay? If you're building armies, you're doing it for a reason, right? Okay, example, hey, uh, everyone here, everyone here in this community 
you're on my list and you're my army and I don't trust that guy over there because he took a walk after dark so everyone we need to get answers well is that a peaceful community is that is that so the block captain's job is to be in communication with all the neighbors okay network with all the neighbors and report back to the police oh wait why isn't he out living his life why isn't he out I want to get jobs I want to date women I want to well the 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 justification the justification is always I want a peaceful neighborhood just like NSA we're here to stop terrorism and data mine all your lives and if, if I hear the word if I hear key words on the phone or internet we're coming after you okay right our own citizens okay so so in essence in essence I want a peaceful neighborhood is creating chaos and destruction okay right um, chaos and destruction um, and then who do they blame the guy they're stalking okay right the guy they're stalking so 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 what's my point I normally I do this forwards or back or whatever so what's my point here is that that the block okay being a block captain I want a peaceful community so I'm gonna network all the neighbors and, and we're gonna watch we're gonna obsess we're gonna obsess on everything that's going on and report to the police right oh that guy took a walk after dark you know I think he might be dangerous I think he okay well now you're creating insanity right you're creating chaos you're creating chaos and you're creating destruction and you're destroying people's lives and you're destroying names and reputations and it's a form of bullying because what kind of person what kind of person wants to be a block captain and follow people around and dig for dirt and ratchet down in a like a like a George Orwell 1984 Big Brothers watching you state with all the neighbors in a joint network reporting to the police and remember that when a citizen is reporting to the police Okay, I've had girls report me to the police for handing them a card. Okay, she states on the internet that, you know, this guy scared me and I called the cops for handing you a card. Because it said Kevin Pearl and Target for handing a card to a person. Okay, that's this is a citizen. This is a citizen not trained in policing and law books that is trying to be a police officer. So if we want to take Yuka, the Asian Jew killer, well, Kevin's a violent paranoid skit, so don't look at the proof, and everyone go out and provoke him minute by minute. Of course, she doesn't write that part. And try to make him look crazy, and especially after Mike Hundley showing him in the movie Fight Club, right, with Tyler Durden. And... Uh, if you see him, whatever, you know, call the cops. Is that is that not creating chaos and destruction and fear mongering? Why doesn't Yuka and everyone else with her worldwide just go out and live their lives? Why why do they think that hate, rage, obsession, their paranoia are good things? Well, because they get a sense of power, correct? They get a sense of I can do what I want. Okay, I don't like you. You're the inferior race. You dirty Jews aren't allowed out of your cages. Okay, or you need to be put in a concentration camp because I am a block captain. 
Okay, I am a blog captain and I'm here to create peaceful communities so everyone get together and create angry mobs to bash that guy's skull in. Wait, I thought you, I thought the notion here is about peaceful communities, right? Peaceful communities. So, so if you want a peaceful community, why are they looking for shit to stir up? Okay, it's like, you see this lake? I want a calm lake, so every 10 minutes I throw uh, a, a 100 pound weight in the fucking lake, because I want a calm lake. Well, but you're, you're throwing, you're creating ripples. You're, you're throwing 10 pound weight after 10 pound weight into your calm lake, to create ripples saying you want a calm leg and then you're blaming it on the 10 pound weight as if it's not your hand, their hand, throwing it, right? Okay, their hand is throwing it. What's causing the ripples? Okay, the hand, the, the brain that's controlling the hand, throwing the weight into the pond, okay? That's what's creating the ripples, not the pond, the pond is just sitting there dormant going, why are you throwing shit at me, right? Okay, so that's that's the nature. So now you have to sort of, on a socio-dynamic and a psyche level, personality psyche level, what kind of person wants to be a block? Captain. I mean, who wants to talk to all the neighbors and put them build email lists and uh, say, hey, I think that guy's a serial killer. I think that guy, uh, that guy um, was pushing a basket down our street. He needs to be arrested. That guy, um, I think he might be a car thief. He looks suspicious because he was... He was checking out the Lamborghini on the side of the road on our street. Yeah, because who would who would check out a Lamborghini on the side of a road? I mean, right? Uh, nobody would ever look or a McLaren or a, or a 1965 Cobra replica or Cobra or or GT40 or if you look, you're a criminal. Okay, right? So so now Kevin. Well, that's not all people. Well, it's not, but there's a cer certain personality trait, personality trait like Mike Huntley's, that I, I, he's, I'm, he, Mike Huntley was not concerned in going out and living his own life. He was concerned with hunting and stalking me, right? With where I grew. Okay. And why would someone devote their life to interacting with all the neighbors and going from door to door and building email lists and closed portals or even open portal systems, um, posting things about other people on the web, uh, saying, you know, I think this person is, that's what Dincy, that's what Dincy got federally sued for, putting up Facebook accounts, blasting other people, endangering their lives and my life. Okay, so, so, um, okay, so, so you're, you're profiling, you're not going after criminals and the reason that is is because certain things fit the criteria of a crime and certain things don't. Uh, taking a walk after dark does not fit the criteria of a crime. Taking a walk after dark is your, your human right and your freedom, okay, unless you're in a Nazi state. And um, for a block captain or a person working in these groups, because remember, they're network tear cells. They can be. They, they weren't designed. They weren't designed for that purpose, but you're dealing with people. You're dealing with people that have are either stupid or they don't give a shit and they want what they want. Example, example the Karens and the Kyles. Okay, I don't like that guy around my house. I'm gonna call the cops on him. I don't like that guy. I don't like him. I hate him. I don't like him. Kevin's Jewish. We don't want Jews here. Uh, he's taking walk after dark. I think he tried to steal a car. I think he did this. I think he did that. I think he. 
Well, it's a form of bullying. Okay, so you're gonna say, but that's not what the block captain or neighborhood watch groups are designed to do. True. True. But you're not dealing with people who are police officers, are you? You're dealing with that guy. And you're dealing with that guy. And you're dealing with that guy. That guy could be a gardener. That guy could be a car washer. That guy could be a... Um, a shoe, shoe store, shoe salesman. Okay? You think they are trained in policing and when they're calling up the lead officer in their district and they're saying, this person's a violent paranoid schizo, this person's this, this person tried to kill me because, this person tried to kill someone because he, he hugged a girl on the street and I think he tried to strangle her. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Are they, are they police are No, the only thing, the, the reason, the reason the only thing security guards are allowed to do is call the police if he thinks there's a crime in process, progress is because you can't put the law you can't put a police officer's roles and responsibilities in the hands of civilians and if they act like a police officer that's impersonating a police officer okay so you're under arrest you're you blah 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 you're under arrest wait I'm walking down the street and some random guy is saying I'm under arrest and well that's impersonating a police officer okay um, they can call the police but they can't try to grab your arms and legs and handcuff you and whatever right so so they can't chase you, they can't handcuff you, they can't do this, they can't do that. All they can do is what a security guard can do, call the cops. That's all they can do. Okay, so, so, but more importantly that the block commander is building, could, like me, like my whole life, build hate armies. Well, we don't like Jews. We don't like, we don't like those dirty Jews and they're a public nuisance because they're greedy and they're criminals or whatever whatever slur they're working on out of their hate. So therefore, we don't want them here and we're going to get rid of them. See, so we're going to we're going to get rid of them. And so we're going to call up our lead officer buddies, like lead officer Dency. And if the police officer is corrupt, see in my case it's reversed. In my case the communication is not going from the block captain to the police. The police are telling the block captains and security companies based on childhood profiling to make up lies every day so that they can look like what they're doing is justified. Okay, so the block captain in itself is a dangerous thing. But Kevin, don't you want peaceful communities? Of course. Of course. But you can't create a peaceful community by building a Nazi state. Okay? You can't you can't have a dude standing on each corner with a fucking red armband going Are you are you what are you doing? Are you you're out taking a walk? What are you doing? Did you just sit down there? I think you're up to something. Did you just uh, pet that person on the shoulder? Did you just hug that person? I think you might have. Uh, that person asked if they could borrow a dollar. You had. I think. Uh, I think you're a drug dealer. I think you're a drug dealer. Right? Okay, that's a Nazi state. But we will be, it's because we want, we want a peaceful neighborhood. But guess what? If you're not out there creating a Nazi state, you have a peaceful community. 
especially in Woodland Hills. I mean, what really happens in Woodland Hills? Nothing at all. Uh, select few, select few things. So, so nothing happens, but the the block captains are creating chaos and destruction. Okay, they're creating insanity. Uh, in the name of we want a peaceful community, which is contradictory of itself, correct? Uh, it's I want to create a a Nazi state so that everyone can have good lives. But if you just let people live life, you will see that most people aren't that bad. That especially the ones without eyebrow hair. Okay? So, so well, Kevin, we have you know we are, we want we want neighbor we have neighborhood watch groups for a reason. Well, sure, but you're doing unnecessary things and putting the power in citizens and telling them that they can act like police officers, right? Hey, you over there? You didn't even go to college. You're a police officer. You didn't You didn't even go, not only did you not go to college, but you didn't go to the police academy. You, didn't, you don't have any police training. You don't have police training. You don't have police training. You don't have a college education. You might not even have graduated from high school like Victoria Walker. And... You want a peaceful neighborhood thinking you're a police officer. If that isn't fucking dangerous, I don't know what is. And then they're going from door to door, fear-mongering and riling the masses against people, especially me, for no reason. Well, he took a walk. We don't want him at our park. We don't want him going to coffee shops. We don't want him going to restaurants because if he goes to a restaurant uh, he might bite someone's head off. He might well, great. Like maybe you should finish your high school degree and go to college and get a job and do something with your life and that's the point. Because a civilian trying to be, be a police officer there's a reason why they're not police officers. Okay, how about I say that? Uh, Jennifer Pilchick Perlman, we need to deem Kevin as the crazy guy. There's nothing we can legally do about it. So we have to illegally do something about it. And my response is get a fucking education, even though she went to college and probably is a 4.0 student. Get a fucking real education with real classes uh, about real things and go out and do something for yourself instead of trying to help others by hunting them and killing them, right? Okay? So, now is Jennifer Pilsick Berlman doing it for any other reason than power? No. Okay? Uh, someone asked in the meeting, this was funny, someone asked in the meeting, uh, Ventura Boulevard, where uh, Ventura Boulevard and Fallbrook, where they start parking cars backwards. They said, um, they said, uh, well, you know, it's like a racetrack down there, and we needed to do something. First of all, Fallbrook and Ventura, you couldn't, it couldn't be a racetrack down there. Okay, I'll state that, but. And I know how car people work because I'm a car person. I know that they're not closing off Ventura and Fallbrook for the street takeovers. It's not possible. And I know that, um, like, some guy in an 800 horsepower Hellcat is not going to hang out at Fallbrook and Ventura. He's going to be. He's going to see someone with, like, another Hellcat or something, and that's when he's going to push on the pedal, right? He's, he's not... Okay, so... So the city... So city council... City council created parking where everyone parks backwards, which is sort of funny. Because she said... I'm not mentioning names, but she said... 
Well, it was like a racetrack down there, so city council wanted to do something about it to try to stop it. And I said, and I said, but by doing that, doesn't it look more like a racetrack? Right? Like by doing it, doesn't it look more like a racetrack? Okay, you have cars backwards. Yeah, you ever been to a racetrack or street races, cars backwards with lights on? Okay, so so in order to stop, this is it's ironic. So in order to stop the theoretical, everyone's racing down there. It's like a racetrack. We park cars backwards like a racetrack. <laughs> okay, um, like the self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Okay, so. Now the girl says, one of the ladies there says, we all voted against that. How did that pass? And I said, and I said, well, you know, I said, because power over power bypasses democracy. She laughed, and the lady laughed. Because power, power bypasses democracy. That's that's why. Okay, because they want a dictatorship. They don't want democracy. They want to tell you what you can and can't do, like taking walks. Well, you, you took a walk past dark, so you're not allowed to ever take a walk again or leave your house. Okay, is that is that democracy or is that dictatorship? Okay, or communism or socialism? So now we're going back to the whole block captain. What kind of person wants to not be out living their life doing things for themselves? And there's nothing wrong with wanting a peaceful community, but trying to control people and things and we're watching you. Like those police death threats. We're watching you, Kevin. Uh, is the creation, right, of the problem, of every problem. So, if everyone just goes out and lives their lives, guess what? Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. There's not chaos and destruction and turmoil like the Holocaust, uh, like a Jew walking around Germany going, I gotta live in a fucking, under a fucking floor, uh, in hopes they don't come knocking at the door. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, so, in essence, a block commander that, that unites a block army, does that serve a real purpose? Other than chaos and destruction? Well, uh, listen, if, if, if that guy is walking down the street and, uh, I don't know, he's jumping on top of fucking cars and shit and breaking windows, jumping on top of the windshields and hopping on the hoods, all that has to happen is someone sees it and they, they hey, uh, police, there's some guy jumping on top of fucking cars, destroying cars. Why do you why do you need a block captain uniting the block trying to force someone's idea, someone's perception of a peaceful community? Example, Charles Sean Dincy says that there's been calls there's been calls for people throwing parties and the music is too loud so we have to stop those people those evil party goers before the crimes happen well first of all noise disturbances aren't really don't fit the criteria of a crime let's just say that okay the cops gonna come out he's gonna say Listen, your neighbors are complaining. Can you turn it down? Sure. Now, if you if you say no, maybe he can 
arrest you for like uh, something, something like um, you know what do you call it? like pro um, what was it called uh, like disturbing the peace or something? You know, but cop comes out. Hey, can you can you turn your music down? Yeah, you know, sorry, officer. We were just having some fun. Got carried away. Okay, thanks. It's over with, right? Charles Swanzy says we have to stop those evil party goers before it happens. So you know, I, you you over there, you look like a party goer. You have priors of having a party. We have to rid you of the world. How do we do that? Because there's no Jennifer Pilchick Perlman. There's no legal. There's no legal way of doing it, right? We have to stop the crime before it happens. I mean, you might throw a party. You're a, you have a prior party. You have a prior party throwing. Okay. Um, so, so there's no legal, legal way of doing it, but we do have our block commander who doesn't even understand what the word legal or illegal means. All he knows is I want what I want. And I'm gonna do what it takes to get what I'm gonna get. Correct? Like Jennifer Pilchick Perlman. Okay, I don't care about right or wrong. Or better yet, I don't know, I don't understand law or I don't understand anything. And, but I am empowered. But I am empowered by the judicial system because every month I go to my neighborhood watch group meetings and they say if there's anything out of the norm or whatever, report to me correct and they start buildings you know I've seen I've seen that guy over there he's thrown 15 parties this year and we're building right we're monitoring you we're, we're watching you and we're building a a dirt a dirt digging list against you but wait the guy hasn't done anything but throw parties the guy hasn't done anything but be social Okay, he's a social guy. He likes to go out. He likes to date women. He likes to have friends. Okay, what's the problem? Well, you know that that noise could get loud. That noise could get loud, and it could it could it could ruin someone's life. It could ruin someone's life. I mean, you know how many people during coronavirus were blasting their fucking mu their music in their house? I didn't see the cops ripping everyone away from their homes. Okay, go and you're a music violator. You're a noise violator. Okay, right. Okay, so what am I talking about here? I mean, everything's one and the same, okay? Um, if you're an obnox obnoxious Nazi, you're going to follow people around trying to get dirt to use against them to justify what you've been planning to do. And maybe it's because you think throwing parties is illegal. Maybe it's because you think Photography is illegal. Officer Toro's death threats. If you ever take a picture of a personal exercise, the law in my own way. When, when, since when has photography ever been illegal? Okay, since it, it came around in the mid 1800s, to this day, there has never been any thing about photography being illegal, ever, on any level, except copyright issues based on making money on other people's images. That's the only thing. But that's not photography, that's copyright. Okay, so photography, it's interesting how many worldwide groups are enemy to kill me for buying a camera, for taking a photography class in 1996 with Professor Nick, a film photography class, I'm being hunted to be killed by with worldwide groups. Because the camera lens might hurt someone. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, but I'm really going to try to stay on topic here of what is the role and responsibility of a block commander? Does it sound dangerous to you? It sounds dangerous to me. And it was, listen, take all, have everyone put the information in a central location on the internet in a, it was, it was termed private, okay, in a private portal, but I mean, there's not only the, the information leaks, the data leaks on the internet is dangerous, but still, why would you be doing it, okay? I mean, do you, do you want to go out every time you go out to take a walk or jog or go to a store? Do you want your block, 
a block of people running around collecting. He went here, he did this, he did that, he did, he did. And you're like, dude, I'm trying to live my fucking life, okay? Why are you, you know what, the other day he went to a restaurant, I think he might have mouthed off to someone because they were throwing rocks at his head and he's violent and why do you have that information? Why are you following me? And by the way, this, this, block captain group of mine since I moved in 26 years ago has followed me to every public place worldwide. So if I went out to a coffee shop in Porter Ranch, I would see people follow me, my neighbors follow me, trying to collect dirt, trying to set up, trying to frame. Well, okay, so are they doing it for a peaceful block or are they doing it to kill a fucking Jew, okay? And then use their police friends well, I go to the neighborhood watch meetings and, you know, I am here to keep a peaceful community. So we don't want him here or anywhere else worldwide. Okay, right? We don't, we don't want him here or anywhere else worldwide because I want a peaceful community and he, we're going to deem him the crazy guy because we've been following him from place to place for 47 years trying to get dirt on him because I don't like or trust him. But what did he do? Well, they're gonna have a slew of bullshit, but what did he really do to to make you make that person hate Jews or discriminate or you know, you know he could have did something like take a walk after dark and it's your behavior, right? Like my, Mike Huntley's death threats, it's your behavior. What are you talking about, dude? You're following me from place to place. So if I'm in Colorado, you're having people befriend me trying to get dirt on me, it's my behavior? Why don't you just let me live my fucking life and go out and make money and have friends and do things with my life? Oh, but we can't talk about that because then comes the death threats with LAPD and police worldwide on my case. You don't fucking talk or we kill you. That's about peaceful communities. That, that's about peaceful communities. World of paranoia. You know what you did. You had better live a careful life have a good life now. I've given you, you enough rope to hang yourself with. I don't actually have an argument other than things that don't matter, like you got into photography, you, you took a photography class in 1996 at the University of Colorado, and with Jason's friends threatening your life, Mike, Mike, Mike Wexler, you better not, you're not allowed to take pictures of people, and things that don't make any sense, and the only th outcome is me finding out, and we have a worldwide campaign to kill you, and you don't talk, and we kill you. Because we want a peaceful community and we want a peaceful planet. That's why everyone's running around in an angry fucking worldwide witch hunt and lynch mob. In the name of we want a peaceful community or peaceful planet. Okay, so, so take that big ball of insanity and bring it down to the block captain, his personality traits, what he's trying to really do because I'm a firm believer that police officers are police officers and citizens citizens are citizens okay there's no you can't you can't mix them okay you're either trained you're either trained to be a police officer or you're not you're trained to fly Boeing 747s or you're a fucking passenger in the fucking back, okay? Because anything in between is fucking dangerous and you take that guy from the back and you put him in the fucking front and that plane's fucking gonna hit the ground or it might not, but you're fucking gambling with people's lives. Okay, so let's do a theoretical here. Let's say Delta Airlines, don't ever leave the airport. Delta, <laughs> let's, that, that's a, one of the old jokes. Delta Airlines, don't ever leave the airport. Okay, so let's say Delta, let's say Delta says, hey, we're going, hey, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna have passengers fly the airplanes. Just select one out of the back and just, passenger, we're gonna let passengers fly the airplanes. Okay, now you're gonna say, I mean, normally you'd say that's fucking crazy, right? You'd be like, are you fucking insane? Well, what do you think? What do you, so, so the block captain's role and responsibility, isn't it the same thing? 
Are you fucking insane? Well, why are you having this fucking Nazi running around? Okay, so so Delta says, "Hey, you over there, you get the, today. You get to fly the airplane." Now that guy, he jumps on the fucking yoke and he's like, "Oh, I don't know what I'm fucking doing." Boom. Okay, so that guy kills 400 fucking people, right? Why? Because a airplane pilot is trained to fly a jet airliner. And the people in back are not, correct? Okay, that the, they're not telling them to put shit on the internet about someone else and... Okay? I really do I need to go any further. Um, so, so now, guess what? Delta Airlines has killed 400 people, theoretically. Okay, now, this is where Kevin's life at 29, the analogy, comes into play. Mike, what the fuck's going on, dude? Like, like I'm trying, we're trying to make money here, and you're, you're acting like a butt puppet, and I'm starting to find things out. I'm not, I'm not really verbalizing it too well, because I don't understand what I'm seeing. And, um, well, you know, we're all a paranoia. I've given you enough rope to hang yourself with. Have a good life now. Uh, basically, you don't fucking talk or we kill you. And um, with a worldwide murder operation. Um, you had better live a careful life. We're using the LAPD system against you. LAPD system against you. You suffer from mental illness. For finding out. Okay, and isn't that equivalent to grabbing the fucking passengers out of the back of the airplane and saying fly the airplane? Who have no concept of pitch, roll, yaw, acceleration, G-forces, anything? Right? No training, no education. It's equivalent. It is equivalent. And grab your stupid little dumbass theories that taking walk, people who take walks after dark or didn't shave are serial killers. Right? Isn't that equivalent to grabbing one of the fucking passengers out of the fucking back of the 747 and. Well, yeah, you can fly the plane. It's cool. But there's there's passengers. There's passengers in the back, and they could get hurt, and they can die. Okay, he could he could grab the yoke, and if autopilot's off or whatever, the auto stabilization, and he goes and boom, and he does a fucking a roll, and guess what? Passengers are falling out of their fucking seat, hit smashing their head against the fucking ceiling, right? Okay, maybe he didn't kill them. Maybe they're still alive. But guess what? The most important question here is how would Delta or any other organization, whether it's LAPD, Ashland, Oregon PD, San Diego PD, Colorado PD, cover it up. Cover it up. Now why, class, class. Why would they not, why would they cover it up and not admit it? Because nobody's that fucking stupid. Okay? You don't fucking tell people from the back of the motherfucking airplane to fly the fucking plane. Even if they were certified, they still have to go through all sorts of certain fucking tests and certifications with Delta alone to be able to hop in that one specific airplane, correct? Okay. So, nobody's that stupid. It's called gross negligence, okay? Because guess what? You just killed 400 fucking passengers, or you fucking ripped their arms and legs off, or whatever, and guess what? Those families and those people need to be compensated for damages. So guess what? So guess what? How would Delta or LAPD or any other organization make that clusterfuck 
go away without people knowing. Because it's gonna go, it's gonna go on the news. It's gonna go on every news globally worldwide. Uh, it's gonna be the talk of the fucking talk worldwide. How would you make that go away? How would they make that go away? Boom! Blow your fucking brains out or make you look like the crazy guy that there's nothing legally we can do so we illegally have to do it to lock the person away, force him into mental facilities, force him into jail cells, rid him of the world no matter what it takes, or, or kill him or try to get him to kill himself. Correct? Because there's information in those and my brain about things that shouldn't be happening now, then, or ever. Okay, so when you're thinking about the block captain, role and responsibility, uniting a neighborhood army to keep the peace while they stand on each corner wearing fucking red bands around their fucking arms. I want you to think about that. I want you to think about that. That, that if you destroy, like in my case, 47 years, and me finding out 23 years ago, in 2001, that there's worldwide, we're watching you, Kevin, and you don't have a right to exist because I say you're a bad guy even though you've, you're you an exceptional person. And the victim, the target, me, has a opinion about it. Okay, boom. He's not allowed to fucking exist. He's not. They got to bury it and cover it all up. Okay, so I think that's it for... So just, just remember when you're... Analyzing the roles and responsibilities of a block captain. Do you really want that in your neighborhood? Will will that provide a peaceful neighborhood for you? The the concept of civilian policing with neighborhood armies. And guess what happens when they fuck up? Do those do those angry mobs admit they fucked up? Do the angry mobs admit they fucked up? Especially civilians. They don't, do they? Well, you know, I thought he was dangerous because he took a walk after dark. So, so we destroyed 20 years of his life and did horrific, unspeakable things to him. Am I going to admit to it? Are, we go are they going to admit to their wrongdoings? Well, no, because I'm friends with the watch commander. Did I report my lies to with everyone else every week? And we build up falsified arguments with all everyone ganging, ganging against him to overpower him. And he's just like, well, you tell me what's going on. No, you're a fucking dead man. You don't have a right to exist. You don't fucking talk. Okay, so all those death threats, the 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 dog attacker with the police trained canine, you better accept what's going on or get a lot worse for you shredding up my leg and things like that are all a byproduct of neighborhood mobs called neighborhood watch groups, which in my case, ironically, they're told to, to stalk for no reason. Okay, they're, if you see Kevin, make up lies. Okay, if you see Kevin, we want to get rid of Kevin. He's crazy since five years old. If you see him make up Every day, make up newer and newer lies, put them on the internet, give them to the police, our fellow police officer friends. Okay? And then the death threats. You better accept what's going on or it's going to get a lot worse for you and no relaxing for you, nigger, from the black community. Okay, so you do the math. What happens when Delta says, hey, you, buddy, in the back, fly our fucking 747 jet. It's, it's passenger fly jet day. And how, once he kills 400 people, how do they cover it up? How, how, with the decision makers. Okay, how do they bury this thing so it doesn't, so it goes away? Do you understand? Well, that's what I'm a victim of, okay? Um, sitting on an airplane while they go to that guy over there and they say, hey, I want you to fly our plane. And I'm sitting there like, I just want to go, I just want to go to fucking Tahiti. I, I don't know about... I don't know why you're bringing the guy from back there to fly a plane. I just want to go to fucking Tahiti. Okay, so don't 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 let that fucker over there who has no training or work for you fly your airplane because I'm trying to go to Tahiti and I paid to go to Tahiti. So so now I'm missing two arms and two legs and half a fucking skull because he rolled the plane 50 times, but we still made it there. 
with no seatbelts on, you owe me for fucking destroying my entire life. Well, it never happened. So you don't fucking talk. Okay, that's what's going on.